Hey, this is Kagan with the Insurance Marketing Brain Dump Podcast, <laughs> and I'm with Brightby.com where we help agents be found online. I'm here with John Bachman. I'll let you go ahead and introduce yourself. Yeah, so I'm John Bachman, Regional, Regional Vice President of Business Development for the insurance side at Social Survey. Awesome. Okay, so let's get into this. Uh, we're here at the InsurTech uh, Connect ITC uh, conference, and there are tons of people here. Uh, so how's it going Too for you? Too many people. How's it going for you so far? It, it's going tremendous. However, it's overwhelming. It, yeah. This is a lot of people. Definitely. And having a lot of good conversations, but I could see some improvements to this conference. Yeah, it, yeah the, definitely. That's my humble opinion. Yeah, but okay, so it, let's talk about this. So we've got a lot of agents who are... Um, going to conferences, they're trying to network. So part of your job is relationships, Absolutely. right? And so how do you break through the barrier of all of this craziness and actually create relationships through it? You know, it's crazy. I know we're gonna be talking about it in a little bit anyways, but video is one way. And what's crazy here at this conference, because it is so massive, mm -hmm. uh, you can't know everybody and you can't right. meet everybody. You right. need to meet the people that are important. But what has happened for me is I have people that are searching me out because they've seen my content online from my videos. They feel as though they know me. I, I had a, a woman just yesterday, I was just finishing up a meeting and she says, hey John, it's great to see you. And I said, I'm sorry, I don't, I don't know who yeah, you are. Right. And she goes, oh no, I watch your videos. So that broke that barrier down right from the jump street. Right. So we were ready to, to chat and, and she already knew me and I just had to learn a little about her. So right. we had a great relationship. Right. Before we even Before knew each the, other. Before uh, the awkward, oh crap, I, right. don't, <laughs> I don't know who yeah. this is. And I've had people come up to me and act like they know exactly who I am. And I'm like, I've never seen you in my life. Yes. And what I should say is, you're just not on LinkedIn much, are you? Right. <laughs> right? <laughs> um, yeah. So let's talk more about this, this marketing. So first off, you do something with marketing. I mean, your job, social survey, I mean, is part of this marketing, right? Absolutely. So let's talk a little bit about that and how that works with marketing. Yeah, so what social survey does, it's a customer feedback and marketing automation platform. So it basically takes the voice of the customers and with the happy customers, it uses it as your number one marketing asset. So we know we have so many happy customers, but those folks tend not to share their stories online a lot. Mm -hmm. So why not use them? We know they're happy, we just need to ask them and get them out there to tell their story, whether it be on Google My Business, Yelp, Better Business Bureau, wherever, but getting their stories out there because they're happy. We should be using them to our benefit. How do you instruct agents and how do you teach them to utilize that content that now they're, they're capturing? What, what are some other ways that people are doing uh, doing, creating content. Well, we there. were talking earlier about micro content as well, as right. whether it be a conversation or if they send an email into snagging a bit of that quote, getting it on all your social media channels, getting it on it. And once they say they're happy, ask, ask. That's the biggest thing when I, I speak to some uh, independent agents yep. is, are you doing Google reviews? Well, yeah, I have a link on my page. Okay, well, do you pro proactively ask? No, I don't. They, right. It's there. We get, we have four or five on the website. Well, if you know they're happy and you're talking to them and, and they say, hey, Kagan, thanks so much. I really appreciate what you did. Hey, I appreciate that. I depend on people like you. Do you mind leaving a review? You damn well, should, they are going to be leaving that yeah. for you. It's just a matter of asking. We have to ask. And uh, if you can automate it through the agency management system, do it that way. Or if you can use another provider like us that can help automate it as well. It, Definitely. Remove the friction for the customer, ask them when they're happy, and, and they will leave the reviews for you. Okay, so Social Survey, uh, they're a little bit newer into the insurance market. Right. Um, extremely established in other markets, right? Correct, yes. Okay, and so they see the opportunity here that the need for insurance agents to have these products. So what are you doing? You know, we talked a little bit about this, like, you know, coming into a new um, a new channel, right? And right. I think just for insurance agents in general, you know, we're always trying to break through different barriers and yeah. get into these no channels, these niche markets that we're riding in. So what are you doing? What have you found that has helped you? And what's something that maybe they could apply in their own agency? So one of the biggest barriers we've had is the name recognition. Because we are yep. so young in the space, people don't really know us. And, and they try to compare us to other people that are similar to us in the same space, but it's really not accurate to, to line us up next to How each other. How many people think that you are a, just like a social media platform? Uh, many, and that's one thing we yeah. talk about in, internally as well is 
our, our naming convention is limited. And yep. that's something we've talked about yep. is mm -hmm. they hear the social part, it's only social media. Or they only hear the survey part, right. all, all you do is surveys. Right. You must be the survey monkey. Exactly, right. exactly. But putting it together, it is a completely different story. So, yep. so that's one of the barriers in, in just coming out to places like this and in, in getting our name out there, being present at all the local events like agents should be doing. Um, if you have a certain niche, construction workers, show up to those events all yeah. the time, be a part of it. And that's what we're doing here at, at Insure Tech Connect is just being present. Um, there was another thing you just asked me about as well. Oh, barriers, but uh, how are we facing those barriers? Yep. Uh, at Social Survey, uh, the, the founders, the management team, they're really smart about it, is the, the insurance team, it's, it's not known salesmen. They found subject matter experts within insurance. Um, not to call myself an expert, but I, almost 20 years. We, we would consider you a claims expert, right? Uh, well, I appreciate I know, that. Right? Yeah, so <laughs> I spent almost 20 years uh, on the claims side, uh, on the carrier side, working in claims organizations. And they understand that we need to speak the, the correct talk. When we're going out and speaking to carriers and agents, we need people that have felt the pain and, and be able to speak that pain and how do we get through that pain. Right. Um, so that's where they were smart about it. Um, they, and I appreciate it when they, when they were talking to me about it. And, and that's what's going to give us uh, more leverage the further we go into the space. Definitely, no, and I appreciate you being honest about that. I yeah. know sometimes it's hard to talk about the barriers that we're facing as companies, yeah. Yeah. but I mean, just like with Brightbee, you know, helping them understand our brand, who we are, um, and what we do, I mean, think about the, the amount of times that you've probably even some tailored your messaging a little bit different to help agents understand uh, what you guys actually do, right? Yeah, it, it, and that's another thing. So insurance is so segmented from all the audiences. So because our platform is so agnostic in different verticals as well, but even within insurance, we work well with agents, we work well with carriers, we work well with agency networks or state associations. Each one of those uh, people that we're talking to, it's a different message. Completely. It's a completely different message right. of where our platform can benefit them. Right. So we have to make sure that we're we're speaking intelligently about right. each one of those paths as right. well. Right, yeah. no, I completely agree. All right, so you're dealing with lots of agencies. You've talked to a lot of agencies before this. I mean, this is not anything new to you. So tell me, what do you see for insurance agents that they're lacking, that they could be doing so much more of, that if they did it, it could change the course of their business. You know, I, I'm going to end up on like a Gary V uh, soapbox here too, but it's it's a lot of a lot of the folks I speak to. They talk about, well, I don't know what to create for content. Well, they shouldn't be creating content. Yeah, you need to be at some level of creation, but documenting, documenting what you do day in and day out and you are going to get content out of that. If you're answering the same question over and over again, throw your camera on, record it, type it up, yeah. write it in your FAQs yeah. if, if writing is your option. I have a podcast. Uh, whatever you're doing day in and day out, that is content. You don't have to create out of, out of the thin blue yeah, I, I think that's a I think that's a really good point. Like just just here, what we're doing right, right now. Right. You know, I I first off didn't have a clue of how this was gonna go. Right. Seven thousand people. Am I even gonna meet anyone, or is anyone gonna even look at us? You know, they kind of do the they walk by, they look at your brand, and they just kind of don't make eye contact with you, and you're like, okay, yeah. seriously, <laughs> like what are, what is this? And so, um, you know, I feel like an ant. Um, but one of the things I decided was, okay, you know what, I'm gonna make the best of our time and we're gonna talk to people that are here I and I'm it. just gonna invite them to let's talk let's brainstorm and it's been powerful it's been powerful I mean guys I know that I wouldn't have gotten John Bachman here if I didn't offer him a microphone oh so, get, get out of here <laughs> so, no so but but with that being said let's brainstorm a little bit on so you said we don't have to create content we Correct. just have to document Document. So let's yeah. brainstorm really quick on what that actually looks like to give people actionable steps that they can take now. Yeah, one thing, as long as you have permission from your clients that you're speaking to, record conversations, um, whether it be an Apple phone or uh, an, an iPhone, your actual phone, yep. record the calls. And like, people say, why? FAQs? I mean, that's, that's one thing. That's right? part of it, and, and sharing the content. So I, I believe you know Bradley Flowers as oh, well yeah. down in Alabama, Portal Insurance. Um, he does this a lot, where he gets permission, he, sure. he has his iPhone in front of him when he's talking on the phone as well, and if he has a great conversation, 
he snags all that that uh, those conversations, throws yeah. it on Instagram, throws it on Facebook, and it's great information that he doesn't maybe have to have that conversation with a customer again. He, right. he could send that out. Or if he knows that somebody's facing a similar situation, he can send that out or they see it organically through social media I feeds. Didn't, honestly, I have never thought of that one, but that is that, yeah. that could actually be pretty powerful. And of course, you're not putting the whole conversation on there right, usually. Right. You may just put you know a couple sentences on there, right. but um, but that's pretty. That could be pretty powerful. And, and he does that a lot with um, with uh, people within the industry as yeah. well. When he's having conversations, speaking with yeah, his he did peers that with me. as well. I yeah. didn't think about that. Yeah, yeah. And, and and he's snagging that content. It's it, it's so powerful that it's going to help so many other people out as well. Definitely. Yeah. So, what are some other ways that can be actionable right now? It doesn't take a lot of work to do if they just do it. It could it could help change. I'm a big proponent of telling your story is telling your story, whether it be on video, whether it be audio, whether it be writing an article, is everybody, human beings, we're storytellers. That's what separates us from each and every other person out there is telling our personal story. And yeah, it's intimidating when you first go to do it, when yeah. you hit record oh, yeah. or you hit publish on that yeah. article, it's tough to do. Um, but you just have to push through that and, and understand that, well, out of the gate, not many people are going to see the first few episodes of whatever you sure. do, but you're going to learn each step of the way. But tell your story, get it out there, um, especially with an agency. Uh, with an agency, um, you guys are involved in your communities. What better way to share the stories of what you're already doing than to get it out there and tell that story? And they don't have to have uh, special equipment. They no. don't have to have the you know the nicest Canon camera or anything. They can literally use their phone. I, and do the it. iPhone camera is better than most cameras right. out there right now. Heck, the the fancy DSLR camera I use yeah. is my wife's third backup camera. She she did photography on the side. I stole it behind yeah. her back. Yeah. It, it's probably 15 years old, so it does not have the technology that my iPhone does. Oh, yeah. So the iPhone is absolutely fine. Uh, it, it's it's the quality of the message that you're sell, yeah. that you're talking about is so much more important than the production value. Down the road, production value is very important. Yep. But the message that you're telling yep. is so much more. What it? Okay. What did you start out with with video? What did you start out with? I know you've kind of upgraded a little bit uh, here. on in the insurance yeah, side. Yeah. What, what did you start out with? I mean, did you start out with your phone and? No, I, I started with the DSLR. Did you really? Yeah. Okay. So so when I was following uh, Ryan Hanley, folks know Ryan Hanley. Yeah. And uh, I was involved um, with the 5 a.m. Club uh, on that front. If you don't know about 5 a.m. Club, check it out on Twitter. Hashtag 5 a.m. Club <laughs> INS. Call to uh, action. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I was seeing what they were doing, and I said, you know what, I got a story to tell as well. And then th that group, it's, it's an accountability group. They, they said, do it, tell your story. And I knew my wife had these extra cameras, and I just did it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I started a little bit further yeah. advanced, um, but it, it wasn't anything fancy I was doing. Are you it, doing the editing yourself? I do the days? editing myself, and okay. people are still surprised right now that yeah. I use iMovie. Do you really? Yeah, okay. people ask me, is it Premiere Pro? Do you use uh, Final Cut Pro? And um, no, no. I, I use iMovie. iMovie is absolutely serviceable. Sure, I'd like to upgrade. Yeah. Um, but that's that's not in my budget right now. Sure. So I use iMovie. It does everything I need it to do. Yeah. So I have no problems with yeah, it. Yeah. Another one that our team is uh, recommending right now is uh, Filmora. Filmora is like fifty dollars a year, um, and it's that. kind of like a uh, it's kind of like a downgraded version of a uh, Adobe Premiere, but it's so much more than what people can. So that would definitely be something as well to check out. But iMovie is, it's getting better. Yeah, absolutely um, is. Yeah. So I, I used iMovie back when it was iMovie four or five. Yeah, it's very different. Back when I was doing videos for my fantasy football league yeah. <laughs> 15 years ago. Um, so that's why I, I've always loved it. I knew how to use it. And yep. plus, when we talk about Premiere, yeah, it, it is the, the Cadillac of uh, movie editing. But you're spending so much money that some of the features on there, nobody at our level is going to use most of oh, those yeah. features. You're paying for things you're not going to use. Right. So you have to be smart about what you're using for equipment as well. Awesome. All right. Well, I, I think that is a pretty good brainstorm and good ideas of what we can start doing as agents, insurance agents. Definitely check out a social survey more. Um, learn more from John Bachman. And then also just a call to action here since we're all working on our call to actions as salespeople and as business owners and branding uh, experts here. Um, make sure to subscribe to this channel. 
like it, give us a thumbs up, and then comment and tell us that you watched it and tell us what you learned from this. If you have any questions, we'll be more than happy to get back to you and, and figure out how. Also, another call to action, uh, since I'm just going to get them all out here now. Sounds good. Uh, our Facebook marketing group. Uh, get on there. You can get free content. You can get free resources. Uh, insurance Marketing 101. Uh, get on there. If you give us your email, we'll give you uh, seven days of free content every month. So uh, get on that. Um, unfortunately, Chris Paradiso could not be with us here today, but he's in He's in spirit. Chris right? is always in my heart. Man. Always. He's, absolutely, yeah. I've already yeah. talked to him like two or three times today. So, Well, did you stop by his restaurant that's over here or I the store over I here too? I saw that. Yeah. I, I sent it to him and I said, wow, you've really expanded, yeah. man. So that's really funny. Well, thanks again. Um, and guys, that's a brain dump. Thank you, Kegan, man. I, hey, I appreciate it, man. Yeah.